Hello, my beautiful souls. I am the Awakened Dreamer, and I'm here to give you your daily tarot reading for November 5th. Uh, I've decided to do two a day, uh, every other day, in order to get these out more consistently for you. Uh, but I do want to express my gratitude and appreciation for all of your likes and comments, subscriptions, as always. I appreciate you. And uh, I meditated on the energy for the day overall. And the message that came through was jumping for joy. What an amazing message, jumping for joy. And I do feel like it's going to be a very energetic day, uh, but very simplistic at the same time. What a good combination. But yeah, let's get started. Let's switch it up and pull a message to begin from the Work Your Light Oracle deck. What do we have for the collective to begin this daily read for November 5th? Thank you, Spirit. November 5th. <laughs> and I do apologize if my voice is a little bit off or because it's kind of leaving my life these days, but bear with me. For November 5th, what else do we have? Thank you, Spirit. And I apologize if you do hear any noise in the background. You want me to pull in more? What else do we have for today? Or November 5th, because I am recording this on the 4th. All right, we're going to just go with this one. And as a reminder, I do take jumpers or flyer cards for the most part on this channel. So first and foremost, we have Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. This is coming through to remind you how much of an influence you have on other people in your life. You know, when you're in this kind of jumping for joy mindset, when you're in this positive way of being you have such an influence well you do all the time but this kind of influence is the influence you want to have on people you're contagious with this kind of energy where people are drawn to you people feed off of your excited kind of jumping energy so just keep that in mind and then we have align your life what is not aligned or needs to change moving from you know the day before on the fourth when you were kind of doing a lot of reflecting it is a day where you will start to think or even start to put into action what needs to change in your life what not to, what isn't working for you who is no longer bringing positive aspects to your life are they stripping away your positivity are situations stripping away uh that feeling that you have during this day of feeling joyful and happy and if so what kind of adjustments do you need to make? Do you need to be the queen of swords of your life? It is something to think about today or at the this day, or at the very least, um, start to put into action. It's to, a day to put this into action or at the very least, uh, start to think about it. Let's reverse that real quick. And then we have yes, just say yes. An offer is going to come in during this day. Somebody will want to work with you or somebody will want to spend time with you. And it is that kind of offer, that situation where you just need to say yes. Of course, always trust your intuition. You know, trust that gut feeling. But for the majority of you, this is an offer and a situation that you need to say yes to. It could help you advance to your goals or to the future you desire. How exciting. Let's continue by pulling four tarot cards for the day. Let's do some shuffling, of course. Again, I apologize if you can hear uh, any noise. I'm working by a window as always, and someone's, I think, cutting their grass. But I want to get this out for you. One more shuffle. And I also do want to say the reactions um, and beautiful comments I got on my channel update uh, video about not being able to put up the weekly reads due to my current living situation. You all are so amazing. 
I can't express my appreciation and gratitude for each and every one of you enough. You are all such beautiful souls. There's a reason why I say that at the beginning of each daily read. All right, what do we have, Spirit, to continue this daily read for the fifth? Ooh, we're going to take this one. It is hanging by the edge. And once again, bear with me with the noise in the background. It may, I feel like that's honestly a sign, uh, a message coming through. It may be a day, although it's simplistic, it may be a bit noisy around you, even if you're not feeling noisy yourself. And they want me to just pull the last two from the top. Okay, not surprised. Wow. Nine of Cups to begin the day in four card spread. You're going to wake up in such a good mood, I feel. You're going to, it's going to be a day where you sort of jump out of bed. You know, not a surprise given the overall message of jumping for joy. But it's going to feel like you just kind of have a lot to look forward to, even if things aren't completely ideal wherever you are at this time. It may feel like you're striving for that 10th cup. You're striving to ha feel that full fulfillment. And so you kind of get yourself in that mindset or you wake up in that mindset where you're like, yes, I got this. I'm on my way to success. I'm on my way to what I want and deserve out of life. And that's exactly how spirit wanted you to be. Because I feel like there have been some difficult days previously. And it's side by side with the sisterhood of the rose. And I feel like a lot of you who are drawn to these daily reads, again, have a huge influence on those people around you. Getting your voice out there is super essential for you as an individual. It not only affects other people in a beautiful way and helps people learn certain things and teaches them how to act or, or how to reflect on oneself. It makes you feel fulfilled. It makes you feel like your cups are full, like, you know, a more abundant feeling. And so there's a multitude of benefits for others and for yourself when it comes to you helping other people. How amazing is that? And I can relate. Moving right along, we have the Queen of Wands for the second card. When the second, um, when the first half of the day rather wraps up, I feel like you'll truly be standing in your power, a very kind of passionate feeling as well. And it, But at the same time, it feels like previously, maybe not it might happen in this part of the day, but I feel like more so in the previous days, you've put your foot down when it comes to certain people and situations and you've decided, you know what, you're not going to treat me this way. Or you know what, no, I'm not going to accept this behavior anymore. Or no, I deserve better than this in whatever situation it is. And so it kind of leaves you feeling like, yes, I'm me. I'm amazing. And I'm standing in my power. And it feels like moving forward, you'll do a little bit better of a job at not allowing people to kind of break this feeling of standing in your power, this um, strong feeling, this passion, because it may feel like someone sort of like tried to break that passion of yours for whatever you've been working towards. Screw that, right? And then to move right along to the second half of the spread slash day, we have the Knight of Cups. This is that offer, my friend, that we were talking about with the yes card. It feels like someone's going to come through. For some of you, it might be a love offer. For some of you, it's just going to be a soul connection wanting to, you know, FaceTime with you or Zoom with you or just simply talk to you on the phone or maybe get together and have a small gathering. For some of you, it may be a job offer you've been looking for. But I do feel like whatever this offer is for you, you simply will just feel like absolutely yes, yes, yes. Can you just hear the excitement in my voice? I just, it, I'm picking up on the energy overall for the day where I'm just so excited, so ready to go, you know, just a lot more passion coming from within. And it's aligned, the Knight of Cups is aligned with this, aligned with your life. And it just reminds you that when new offers are coming in, when new situations are entering your life, and new, and you're now able to see more clearly what's good for you and what's not, what's healthy, what's not, what's benefiting you and what's not as you move forward and change as an individual. It reminds you to keep assessing people, places, and situations in order to keep that inner peace, you know, consistent 
or simply to keep that passion and that light within shining as bright as you can. Because again, if someone or a situation is, you know, tainting that fire within that passion or simply making you doubt yourself or what you're working towards, why would you want to keep that person or situation around? Right? And we're finishing off the day slash spread with the Ten of Pentacles. What a beautiful card to end on, my friends. The day is going to end with you feeling beyond abundant. You start with the Nine of Cups and you end with the Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like you'll end the day with a better grasp on your finances. It'll feel like you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You can see the end point of your financial goals. You know, you can, you're just feeling super abundant nonetheless. And I do feel like spirit in the universe will come through in some way, shape, or form and remind you of how abundant you are, how much financial success you do have ahead of you, uh, even if things have been a bit rocky recently. And I mean, with what's going on globally, who isn't struggling a little bit, right? But for some of you, for a few of you, this Ten of Pentacles feeling is going to come directly from this offer that you decide to accept and say yes to. But in, now what I'm getting from this imagery is because these ten pentacles are aligned in this kind of pyramid sort of imagery, it just feels like you now have a feeling that you, okay, all right, pieces are starting to come together. I'm building my pyramid for my life the way I want it to be, not the way other people want it to be. And it's starting to pay off and it's starting to give you that sort of abundant feeling or that abundance in general. Uh, that you truly have desired recently and at the end of the day do deserve. And it's aligned with the Queen of Wands and it's like if you weren't feeling more in your power and passionate recently, yeah, you were feeling that way towards, you know, the end of this first half of the day. But when the day ends, that's going to triple, I feel, you know, double, triple, quadruple. You're just going to be feeling all kinds of good feelings and passion. And so you start the day jumping for joy, jumping out of bed. And you end the day jumping in the bed and being like, all right, let's take this good feeling into the next day. So with that said and done, uh, I do once again more than appreciate all of your likes and comments and subscriptions. And I hope this reading was truly helpful. And I hope you have the most amazing day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.